A bad fitting pair of jeans really sucks. And we all tend to think it has to do with our body. It doesn't. It has to do with the cut of the jeans and your body type. Today, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about buying your next pair of jeans. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a fashion stylist. I've been in the industry a long time. And for those of you who do, welcome back. I love you guys. Thank you for saying hi to me in all the comments and chatting. I feel like I have lots and lots of friends. Okay, so moving into the video, jeans, buying jeans. It's a stressful time for a lot of people. Oftentimes we've grown up like muffin topping and thinking that we just have like really bad bodies. I see a lot of comments out there and people are commenting on their bodies. It's not your body. You have a beautiful body. There's just different types of bodies and the jeans are cut for different types of bodies. Okay, tip number one is dress for your body type. It is not your body that has something wrong with it, it is the cut of the jeans. So I'm gonna keep it simple. If you are an apple, an hourglass, or a pear, a high rise jean is best for you and I'll tell you why. You do not want a band cutting you in the widest part of your body. You're going to feel like you're muffin topping over and it's actually not true. It's just the wrong shape for you. Um, I just wanna mention this specifically to you, Apples. I'm saying you don't want the jeans uh, waistband to cut you on the widest part of your body. However, for you guys, it just, you need it to be higher as well. Because if it's lower, it's definitely not gonna be flattering. So, I mean, there are gonna be some Apple body types and take this like with some modification, try on what works for you. But generally, Apple body types, if you have a longer torso, a high rise would be fantastic for you. If you are an inverted triangle or a rectangle, you actually will look fantastic in a low or mid rise. That's what I am. So a celebrity that has a similar body like that is Eva Longoria. She has narrow hips, wider shoulders. She wears low rise all the time. She tucks in blouses, she looks fantastic. If you have a short torso, and any of those a rectangle body shape or inverted triangle, it's a great thing to elongate your torso. So remember that for those body types, those are your basic shapes for you. The next thing that you wanna take note of when you are shopping for jeans is jean color. Okay, so this sounds pretty simple, but there's actually a lot to it. So when you are shopping, typically dark denim makes you look smaller. Lighter denim tends to make you look bigger. So that's a general rule of thumb. However, in the summer, often people want lighter jeans, light and white, and that's fine. But if you're bigger and you're conscious of your lower body, a darker denim is beautiful for you. A navy blue or a black or a darker gray, those are fantastic for you if you wanna keep it slimmer on the bottom and then wear something lighter on the top. So first, total color. Next, you wanna look for all like the whiskering and the shading. There's some jeans that actually have a lighter shading right down the middle in the thigh area and they're darker on either side. This is something that you wanna look out for. You may not notice it right away, but if you do that and you have bigger thighs, that actually will highlight your thighs. They will literally jump out at people. That's not something that you want. If you're tiny and have little stick legs, that's great. That type of shading is really good for you. It adds some contour it adds some dimension, it's a really good thing. The same thing goes with the shading. You'll notice some jeans will like have a lighter bum and it cuts off under the bum and the legs go darker. That's fantastic if you have a small butt and you want it to jump out. If you have a really big butt and your legs are skinny and you don't wanna do that, a light bum with legs getting darker is just gonna like make your bum jump and have these little stick legs on the bottom. It's not a good look. So you really need to look at what they've done with the shading. They're doing that for different body types too so that they can help you accentuate the features that you want. My personal favorite is actually, I don't like any contouring on my jeans. I really look for them to be typically one color. However, I don't mind if there's a bit of light shading, but I tend to stick with one solid color just because it's more of a, it's a much more clean, look and I always like to stick to that look. Okay, something else you need to take note of when you're shopping for jeans is when you take a look at the back of the jean. So you need a bigger pocket will actually make your butt look small. So you don't, if, if you have a big butt, then maybe you want a bigger pocket, but just be aware of the size of your butt and the size of the pockets. So I have a small little tush, 
So I need smaller pockets than this. Like this would make me look like I have the smallest butt ever and I, it would look like a saggy diaper butt. So this is not good for me. So you wanna look at the size of the pockets. The next thing you wanna look at is how high or low are they placed. You actually want the pockets placed up higher so it looks like your butt has some lift. So you wanna look at where is the crease of the jeans. So this one is actually quite low. These are a more economical pair of jeans. I got them out of my daughter's closet. Um, and so the pocket's big and it's they hang a little bit lower. So that's something that's actually gonna drag your butt down. And for me, this would be horrendous. So again, if you have a small butt, look for a small pocket so the pocket doesn't overwhelm you. Big butt, you can handle a big pocket. And then for lift, you wanna make sure the pockets are sitting higher up. The next thing you're gonna look at is the width of the pocket. So how far away are they from each other? Imagine they're low down and wide. What do you think that's gonna look like? You're gonna look like you have a low, wide butt. Even if you have a beautiful rear, a pair of pockets that are placed poorly are not going to do you justice. So look for that. Perky pockets placed up higher, closer together, gives you more material on the edge, on the, on the side right here. That'll actually wrap around your body and make you look like you have this perfect peach butt. So take a look at those again. Everybody's body's different. So you've got, you're dealing with waist, you're dealing where your actual butt is, how your legs are, but I'm just giving you some of the tips and tricks and the tools to actually visually know, okay, so when you put them on, oh, this is what's wrong, the pockets are too small, or the pockets are too big, or they're too far apart, so now you actually know. So it's the pockets. I'll show you on the pair of jeans that I'm wearing. I'm a huge fan of A Goldie, they're high rise. So as you can see, the pockets are a lot higher, like I have a small little butt. The rise is super, super high but the pockets are high, they're smaller, and they're closer together. If these pockets were wider apart and much bigger, it would look like my butt is drooping. Something else that you want to look at that I feel like you guys don't ever notice is the zipper in the jeans. So I was actually at a client's house, she's a YouTuber in Toronto, and we were going through her jeans and she put on the jeans. She's like, I just don't know why these jeans don't look good. She's like, but I think they look awful. And when I looked at them, I could tell right away, not only were the pockets like down low and wide, but some one of my pet peeves is like in a more economical pair of jeans, the zipper is like, these are a pair of high rise jeans um, and the zipper only goes to there. So you have almost the equal length to the crotch. Do you know how bad this looks when you're actually wearing them? But you might not notice. So you put these on and you're like, geez, I just don't look that great. And it's like, it's, it's actually an awful look. Do you really want people focusing? And like this part is really pronounced and it really pops out and it's kind of all you can see. It doesn't matter any position that you move in. It just doesn't look great. You don't need people staring at your crotch while you're walking around. So it's something to take notice of because they, they, they don't want to pay for a, a bigger zipper. It's more expensive. So if they put in a small zipper and just fill the rest with material, that's great for them, not so great for you. If you look at the difference between these jeans that have this little mini zipper and like all this material in the crotch and my jeans is the opening actually, they've got the buttons that go all the way down right to the bottom. It's just a much better look. They fit better. And these also tend to give you like a little bit more of a pooch. So you have to like, when I say pooch, I mean like belly, like you can actually be really tiny and look pregnant in something like this. So you just have to be really careful. Take a look at that zipper length. If it's a short zipper, move on. Okay, I'm gonna give you one last tip on shopping for jeans. If you're lazy, you're in the store, you've taken a look at the pocket size, the placement, the zipper, you're like, okay, check, 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 I got it. These have gotta be a good pair of jeans, the color. Now you're like, okay, hey, well, I'm gonna grab them, I'm gonna try them on at home. Last thing, I've showed this before, I've showed it many times, a little trick to knowing if your jeans fit, you can actually wrap them around your neck. These are not mine. Oh, they're my daughters, but they actually fit. So if they wrap around your neck and they touch, they fit you. Okay, so these are tight on my neck. These would be very tight on me, but that's the general rule of thumb. I promise you, it totally works. So if you're lazy, wrap them around your neck, people are gonna look at you funny. You can be like, I know something you don't, go watch Style by Kim Maxwell's videos. And, that, and then they should fit and you should not have a problem. Take them home, try them on, see if you like them. 
One more tip, shopping for your jeans. This is more on care of your jeans. And in fact, I did a whole video on care of your jeans. You can check that out up here after this is done. But on care of your jeans, something that's really important, almost all pair of jeans, unless they're old traditional jeans, there's a couple Levi's like 501s and the wedgie, I believe that actually have no spandex in them. But if your jeans have spandex or any type of plastic almost all of them do, elastine or whatever, however you say it, there's at least one to 3% in almost every pair of jeans. If you put your jeans in the dryer, it actually melts that plastic and that elastic that is inside the denim fibers. And so that's what causes your jeans to stretch or bag out. So you go to put them on and within like an hour of wearing them, they're saggy. So you're actually melting that. So if you can wash them on cold, throw them in the wash. There's a lot of denim out there and I've read a lot of articles that say you actually don't need to wash the denim. I believe raw denim, they say six months. I don't know, you can put them aside, whatever. I don't wash my jeans that often, but when I do, I for sure hang them up. So that's just prolonging the life of your jeans. That also helps you have a better wardrobe on a budget if you're not wrecking your clothes, if you're buying a high quality pair of denim. So that is my last tip for you. That's on care. So get out into those stores, make sure you're noticing all of those details, your body type and all of those things that I mentioned to you and buy an amazing pair of jeans. If you guys out there have a pair of jeans that you absolutely love, leave it in the comments below and let everyone know your body type and the brand that you love. And I'll actually compile a list and leave a link for everyone. And I'll put a list and a link in my description box after the video has been released. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. I hope that you love this video. I've given you the best things that I can to get out there and buy an awesome pair of jeans. My last thing I will say to you is buy the best quality pair that you can because it actually makes a difference. It makes a difference in many regards. So with that last thing, I say goodbye and I will see you on the next video. And the cut of the jeans. Okay, ready from the top?